Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And yesterday's quiz question was, which country tops the world press freedom index 2020? And the answer is, it is Norway. That is the right answer. Now let's start today's session. First question for the day, with reference to biomedical waste management rules 2016, consider the following statement. Statement one, it calls for phase out the use of chlorinated plastic bags, gloves and blood bags within two years. Statement 2. It seeks to provide training to all its healthcare workers and immunize all health workers regularly. And Statement 3. As per the rules, state government shall provide land for setting up common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facility. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A. 1 and 2 only. Option B. 2 and 3 only. Option C. 1 and 3 only and option D 1, 2 and 3. So guys here all the above statements are correct. So the answer is option D 1, 2 and 3. Biomedical waste or hospital waste is any kind of waste containing infectious material. It is the waste which is generated during the diagnosis, treatment or immunization of human beings and animal or in research activities pertaining thereto or in the production or testing of biological and including categories mentioned in schedule 1 of Biomedical Waste Management Rules 2016 and we have Biomedical Waste Management Rules 2016 in India and salient features of these rules are the ambit of the rules has been expanded to include vaccination camps, blood donation camps, surgical camps or any other healthcare activities and the rules calls for phase out of the use of chlorinated plastic bags, gloves and blood bags within two years. And it also calls for pre-treatment of laboratory waste, microbiological waste, blood samples and blood bags through disinfection and sterilization on site. And it seeks to provide training to all its healthcare workers and immunize all health workers regularly. It also seeks to establish a barcode system for bags or containers containing biomedical waste for disposal and as per rules, the state government shall provide land for setting up common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facility. So that are the salient features of biomedical waste management rules 2016. And recently there are so much of biomedical waste are generating arising out of handling of COVID-19 disease and the National Green Tribunal has urged the State Pollution Control Board and Pollution Control Committee to put in serious efforts to mitigate possible risk of unscientific disposal of these biomedical waste arising out of handling COVID-19 disease. So that was in news. That's why this question is asked. Now moving to the second question. Second question is Sujalam Sufalam Jal Sanjay Abhayan often seen in the news is a scheme initiated by which state? Option A Maharashtra, Option B Gujarat, Option C Uttar Pradesh and Option D West Bengal. So guys the correct answer here is it is scheme of Gujarat. So option B. As we said this is a scheme of Gujarat government and the scheme was started in 2018 after a weak monsoon. And this is basically to improve water availability in the state and till date the state's water storage capacity has increased by 23,000 lakh cubic feet due to deepening of lakes, check dams, rivers and reservoirs and it will be done with people's participation as well as under MG Narega and it would create employment opportunities for rural population in the midst of lockdown adding that norms in place to combat coronavirus outbreak will be adhered to while carrying out works under the scheme and recently Gujarat's chief minister has given the green signal for the third edition of the scheme so that was in news now moving to the last question for the day Global Network Against Food Crisis is launched by which among the following 1. Food and Agriculture Organization 2. World Food Program 3. International Food Policy Research Institute and 4. European Union Select the correct answer using the calls given below Option A 2 and 3 only Option B 1, 3 and 4 only Option C 2, 3 and 4 only and Option D 1, 2 and 4 only Guys, the correct answer here is it is option D 
1, 2 and 4 only. So guys, the Global Network Against Food Crisis was launched by European Union Food and Agriculture Organization and World Food Programme during 2016 World Humanitarian Summit and it is formed to respond to World Humanitarian Summit's call for new approaches to tackle crisis and recurrent disasters, reduce vulnerability and manage risk etc. And recently the Global Report on Food Crisis 2020 has been published and this report was highlighted to show links between conflict and rising levels of acute food insecurity and it states that 135 million people in 55 countries experienced acute food insecurity in 2019 and nearly 60% of whom lived in conflict or instability area and Yemen will see the world's worst food and malnutrition crisis in 2020 it says as the number of acutely food insecure people there is expected to exceed 17 million and the report is produced by this global network against food crisis only and guys our today's quiz question is where is the headquarters of food and agriculture organization located so please post your answers in the comment section so that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post your scores also in the comment section thank you for watching